you're only a few steps away from enjoying a quality futon frame. Thank you for choosing Strata Furniture. This video will walk you step by step through the assembly process, but if you have any issues during any of these steps, we're only an email, a text, or a phone call away to assist you. The futon frame will arrive in three boxes, a futon arm box and two boxes for the futon body. You may receive an additional box that contains the strata strips. To assemble your futon frame, you will need two separate hardware packs. One pack comes in the arm box and one in the tall body box. Depending on the arm style, the hardware pack and instructions might be found underneath other assembly parts in the box. The instructions in the arm box will be specific to your arm style and hardware needed. However, the arm style shown in the body instructions is generic, as all arm styles utilize the same body and assembly instructions. The first step is to organize the parts as shown in the instructions. Please note that the body instructions work for all sizes of our futon frames, and your instructions might look slightly different than the instructions shown in this video. As you lay out the longer boards, make sure to carefully identify them as their length and width slightly differ. Group the same boards together. There is only one foot connector bar. Pair the remaining shorter boards by type. For a full-size futon frame, there are two different sizes of slats. Separate them into the two sizes. If you are assembling a queen-size futon, you will have more slats and all the slats are the identical size. For any other size futon frame, your slat size and count may vary. The next step is to organize your hardware. At this time, keep the body hardware separate from the arm hardware. Finally, remove the arms from the box. To begin assembly, take eight dowels from the arm hardware and the two stretchers. Insert two dowels into the middle holes on each end of both stretchers. Take the futon arms, eight bolts, and eight barrel nuts from the arm hardware. Place the barrel nuts into the holes of the stretcher board and make sure the hole in the barrel nut aligns with the hole in the stretcher. With the holes on the side of the stretcher facing inward, connect the stretcher to the arms by inserting the dowels into the middle holes on the arm. Place a bolt through the hole on the outside of the arm and into the stretcher. The bolt will catch the barrel nut. Only slightly tighten the bolt at this time. Important, do not fully tighten the bolts in this step. Just make sure the bolts catch and hold. You will tighten these bolts during step 7A. Repeat this step for all four corners. Now you will assemble the back deck using the two longest rails named Back Deck Long Rails. It is critical you use the two longest rails. Connect these long rails to the back deck end caps using eight dowels, four barrel nuts, and four 60 millimeter bolts. These are the longer bolts in the body hardware pack. The back deck end caps have a notch. Make sure the notch faces upward. Gently tap dowels into the end caps and insert into the long rails. Insert a barrel nut into the holes in the long rails. Make sure the barrel nut hole aligns with the hole in the long rail. Insert a 60 millimeter bolt through the end cap and into the long rail until it catches the barrel nut. Fully tighten the bolt. Repeat this step in all four spots. You are now ready to attach the slats to the back deck. For a full size frame, you will use the smaller of the two slat sizes. 
A queen size frame utilizes the same size slats. Attach the smaller slats to the back deck using the 30 millimeter bolts. These are the smaller bolts included in the body hardware pack. Make sure the countersunk hole in the slat faces up. To speed up the process, you may use a power driver with the clutch set on low to snug up the bolts after you hand start them. Finish tightening them by hand only. Complete the same process for the seat deck using the two shortest rails named seat deck long rails. Connect these short rails to the seat deck end caps using eight dowels, four barrel nuts, and four 60 millimeter bolts. These are the longer bolts in the body hardware pack. The seat deck end caps have a plastic stopper on the bottom. Make sure the plastic stopper is facing down and is at the front of the seat deck. Position the seat deck long rails with the holes facing upward and on the inside of the seat deck. To attach, gently tap the dowels into the end caps and insert into the rails. Place the barrel nuts in the rails. Make sure the barrel nut hole aligns with the hole in the rail. Insert a 60 millimeter bolt through the end cap and into the long rail until it catches the barrel nut. Fully tighten the bolt. Repeat this step in all four corners. You are now ready to attach the slats to the seat deck. For a full size frame, you will use the larger of the two slat sizes. Use the 30 millimeter bolts. These are the smaller bolts included in the body hardware pack. Make sure the countersunk hole in the slat faces up. To speed up the process, you may use a power driver with the clutch set on low to snug up the bolts after you hand start them. Finish tightening them by hand only. To connect the two decks together, you will need two long clevis pins, two plastic runners, four short sleeves, two washers, and two locking pins. Lay both decks out flat on the floor. The back deck end caps should have the notch facing up. The seat deck end caps should have the plastic stoppers facing down. The seat deck has a pre-drilled hole on each end. Slide this end inside the back deck and align with the pre-drilled holes in the back deck. There will be a slight gap between the two decks. The sides of the seat deck have a pre-attached foot. You may need to rotate these feet upward for the seat deck to fully slide in. Place a long clevis pin through the smaller end of a plastic runner, then through two short sleeves. Insert this through the pre-drilled holes. Add a washer and secure with a locking pin. Repeat this on the other side. Connect the two advanced arms to the back deck with the two short clevis pins, two washers, and two locking pins. Insert a short clevis pin through the pre-drilled hole in the back deck, then through a washer and into the smaller hole of the advance arm. Secure with a locking pin. Repeat this on the other side. Attach the foot connector bar to the feet on the side of the seat deck. You will need to lift the seat deck upwards toward the back deck until it stays in place. The foot on the side of the seat deck has two holes that go all the way through. One side of this hole has a metal insert. It is critical you rotate the foot so that the side without the metal insert is facing you. Attach the foot connector bar to these holes using four 60 millimeter bolts. First, put all four bolts in place.
then fully tighten. For this step, it is helpful to have a second person. With the seat deck still in a perpendicular position to the back deck, have each person lift one end of the decks. You will now insert the decks into the inside of the arms and stretchers from step 2B. It is helpful to insert the decks at an angle. Have one person lift the deck while the other person puts the plastic runner into the groove on the inside of the arm. Once inserted, the other person can insert the plastic runner on their side. The plastic runner should be able to move inside the grooves on the arms. Gently push the decks back using the plastic runners so the plastic runners are at the back of the arms. You may now tighten all the bolts from step 2B. Connect the available end of the advance arms to the futon arms using two 60 mm bolts, two long sleeves, and four washers. You will need to have the plastic runners slide to the back of the grooves so you can line up the opening of the advance arms with the blocks in the back of the arms. Slide a washer onto a 60 mm bolt, then through a long sleeve. Insert this through the opening in the advance arm then through another washer and into the middle hole on the block. This hole has a metal insert which will allow the bolt to catch and be tightened. Tighten these bolts until they are snug while still allowing the advance arms to slide. Do not over tighten them. If your frame has a heavy mattress, you may fasten the strap to the back deck to help with the operation. Push fit the wood buttons into the buttonholes on the arms and the visible bolt holes on the decks. If for some reason they fall out, use double-sided tape or a little painter's tape on the bottom of the buttons to hold in place. Congratulations! You are now ready to add your mattress and enjoy your new Strata Furniture futon frame. But before you go, a few important tips. It is the ever-persistent arc enemy of all futon owners the sliding mattress. Every single day, there you find yourself wasting time and energy fixing the same old slipping mattress that you fixed yesterday. We say, it's time to get a grip on the issue, literally. That's why we created the Strata Strips, designed to keep your mattress from slipping so you can kick back and relax without worry. Measure and cut a piece of the Strata Strip to the length of a slat. Peel off the plastic backing while firmly attaching the strata strip to the slat. Cut off any excess. Repeat this process for the seat deck. The strata strips only need to be attached to every other slat. To convert your frame from a couch to a bed, lift the seat deck upward until it is in a vertical position and the plastic runners in the arm grooves prevent you from further progress. Push the seat deck until you can pull the foot connector bar towards you. This will occur when the feet on the side of the seat deck can release from the notch in the back deck. Once you have pulled the foot connector bar towards you as far as possible, gently set the seat deck down flat. The feet will sit at a slight forward angle on the floor. To return to a couch position, lift the seat deck up and back towards the back deck until the seat deck is perpendicular to the back deck. The seat deck needs to be pushed back far enough so that the foot connector bar can be in and allow the feet on the side of the seat deck to be held in place by the notch on the back deck. Then push the seat deck down towards the floor and towards the back deck. The back deck will rise into a couch position. If you have a heavy mattress, you may pull forward on the strap to help this conversion. 
please see our operating video at StratafFurniture.com. If you need further help, please contact us at info at StratafFurniture.com or at 763-786-3784.